Hi, Caleb with Brownells here. Today we're going to be taking a look at a caliber comparison between two pretty popular calibers, and that is the 10mm Auto and the 40 Smith & Wesson. The 10mm Auto was developed in the early 1980s by Colonel Jeff Cooper, and the 40 Smith & Wesson, of course, marketed and developed by Smith & Wesson in the early 1990s. Now let's get into what makes these two calibers so different. If you'll notice, the 10mm Auto is a bit longer than that 40 Smith & Wesson. The case length on your 10mm Auto is going to be 992 thousandths, whereas your 40 Smith & Wesson is going to be 850 thousandths. The bullet diameter, case diameter, and rim diameter are all the same. But if you'll notice, your 10mm Auto is going to use a large pistol primer, whereas your 40 Smith & Wesson is primarily going to use a small pistol primer. Both the 10mm Auto and the 40 Smith & Wesson were designed as personal defense rounds, uh, mainly for law enforcement and military use. But in my home state of Louisiana, hog hunting has become quite popular, especially with pistols. And I've used the 10mm Auto pushed through a 220 SIG to bring home quite a bit of bacon. Now let's get into the nitty gritty. So your 10mm Auto, of course with that longer case, you're going to be able to push a little bit heavier projectile. I'll use the Federal Ammunition, uh, for example. The 180 grain full metal jacket out of the 10 millimeter auto is going to be moving about 1300 foot per second. In your 40 Smith & Wesson, same, uh, same federal brand ammunition, full metal jacket, you're going to be pushing a 165 grain projectile about uh, 1130 foot per second. So the 10 millimeter auto is moving a bit faster, but that means it's also going to have more felt recoil. So which one of these calibers is better than the other? I'm going to leave that up to you. Let us know in the comments below, and if you have any more questions about these or any other calibers, feel free to give us a call on the tech line. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.